Now that we've explored how to annotate a source with the Scribble toolbar, let's dig into the Scribble library. In the Scribble library, you'll find all the sources you've added from across the internet and any additional sources you've added from PDFs or books. You'll also be able to see all your annotations, your metrics for those annotations. You'll be able to build your bibliography or works cited page and start working on your essay. Let's explore all the different features that the Scribble library offers us. Now that you understand how to use the Scribble toolbar to add sources to your libraries, let's explore what the Scribble library can do for you and your students to collect resources and build effective research projects. First of all, Scribble defaults to showing you your libraries when you log in. It goes to the most recent library that you've been using. In my case, I'm working on a library called A Tale of Two Counties. And you can see all of your libraries along the left-hand side. You also see your class libraries and the classes that you've been working in, as well as you can create a brand new library. Let's go ahead and create one for this project. Click Create Library. Enter library name. I'm going to put in UEN Sample. You can add a description if you'd like, then click Create. It opens up a brand new library where we can start exploring and adding sources to our project. If you'd like to share your library with others without going through a class or an assignment, you can go ahead and hover over your library, hit the settings, and you can add collaborators. You can set your library to private, public, and choose which type of public you wanna do, or you can click add collaborators. You can add individuals or classes as collaborators. When you do this, you can add them by emails or import from your Google contacts, and you can choose what level of access they have to the library. We're going to allow them to create new sources, modify those sources, copy sources to another library, or delete sources from this library. For most situations, giving everyone opportunities to copy and modify is a pretty good option. Once you're done adding collaborators to your library, you can go ahead and start looking at the sources that you've added to your library. We've moved back to using a tale of two counties as our library example. As you can see, I have all of my sources that I pulled from across the internet in one place. I've added tags by clicking filter tags and adding a new tag by just typing it in or adding a tag that I've already added just by clicking it. These tags, if I click on them, give me just the sources that fit into that particular tag. Teachers can also add new sources by clicking the plus sign right here at the top. You can upload a file, a PDF or a doc to, the, the, to Scribble and then students will be able to annotate that PDF or that doc. You can add web pages, open PDFs, add bookmarks, add a book resource, this does not add a full book, but allows you to have a book placeholder or a book you might be reading in class or a short story collection that you might be reading with your students. Add print sources, or you can import bookmarks from your browser. Along the top, we have many options for what we can do with our library. The first being our sources that we've been looking at previously. We can also go to annotations, where we can see the annotations from within our library by the type, whether it be comment, text changing color, underlining, or highlighting. We can also filter those by clicking any of the filters right here on the left-hand side. We can create a bibliography by just dragging any source over into the middle column, and it'll cite in the format that we've selected previously. We can add as many or as few sources as we'd like for a bibliography. We can also work on an outline and add sources to that outline. We can create a brand new paper through Google Docs that will allow us to type within Scribble. And if we're using a shared library, we can actually see all the metrics for which sources are getting used, which type of sources we have, and how our sources are being used by our students over time. The library offers many options for collecting, filtering, and engaging sources for a variety of projects. Your assignment this week is to build a library that you might use in your class. Thank you. Thank you.